The UK, Italy and Japan have announced that they will jointly develop a next generation fighter jet. July 2024, Farnborough International Air Show, Hampshire, UK. For the first time, the world witnessed one of the most tangible glimpses into the future of aerial warfare, a sixth-generation fighter jet, born from a groundbreaking collaboration between the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP, unveiled a fighter that is set to redefine air combat as we know it. And what they showed looks really promising. Let's start from the beginning. The Global Combat Air Program is the result of merging two ambitious projects, the UK's Tempest and Japan's FX programs, with Italy playing a crucial role in the collaboration. The roots of this partnership stretch back to years of independent development, with each nation striving to create a next-generation fighter to address their specific defense needs. In 2018, the UK's Tempest project began as a cornerstone of the country's future air combat strategy, aiming to develop a highly advanced, multi-role fighter that could replace the Eurofighter Typhoon by the mid-2030s. Similarly, Japan's FX program, officially launched in 2020, was designed to replace its aging fleet of F-2 fighters. The program focuses on creating a stealthy, twin-engine aircraft capable of long-range missions. Both nations shared a similar timeline and tactical requirements and recognized that the cost and complexity of developing such cutting-edge technology independently would be formidable. In December 2022, the UK and Japan decided to combine their efforts, creating the Global Combat Air Program. This partnership allowed both countries to share resources, technology, and reduce development risks. Italy, already involved in the Tempest project, joined GCAP, contributing its expertise in aerospace engineering and defense. The collaboration was officially confirmed with the signing of an international treaty in December 2023 marking their commitment to developing the next-generation fighter aircraft together. The program operates as a balanced partnership, with each nation bringing its unique expertise to the table. BAE Systems leads in the UK, focusing on the airframe, with Rolls-Royce on engines, Leonardo UK on electronics, and MBDA on weapons. In Japan, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is the prime contractor, with IHI on engines and Mitsubishi Electric on electronics. In Italy, Leonardo SPA leads, with Avio Aero handling engines and MBDA Italy focusing on missile development. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Let's now take a look at what was unveiled at the air show. Approximately one-third larger than the Typhoon, and comparable in size to the F-15. The G-CAP features a 50-degree swept delta wing spanning 16.5 meters. This wing design allows for substantial internal fuel storage, increasing combat range without relying on external tanks, which preserves the aircraft's stealth profile. The internal volume also supports a higher payload, enabling more weapons to be carried internally, further enhancing its strike capabilities while maintaining low observability. Stealth is a critical component of the jet's design. The smooth, broad surfaces of the delta wing, along with advanced radar-absorbent materials, reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section. The angled air intakes and the raised section housing S-shaped engine ducts minimize the forward radar signature, shielding the reflective engine components from detection. While agility has been deprioritized, the platform focuses on long-range engagements. It relies on advanced sensors, long-range weapons and potentially uncrewed systems that could be deployed from under its wings, marking a shift away from close-in dogfights typical of earlier fighters. The design also moves away from supercruise capability due to the challenges it presents, such as increased thermal signature and higher fuel consumption. Instead, the GCAP emphasizes thermal management to maintain a low thermal signature and avoid detection by modern infrared search and track systems. Rolls-Royce's advanced cooling systems play a vital role, using the aircraft's large surface area to dissipate heat efficiently, preserving both stealth and performance. Moreover, the fighter is equipped with substantial power generation capabilities, with systems capable of producing around 2 megawatts of electrical power. This power could support next-generation technologies like high-power microwave weapons, which could disable enemy electronics and sensors without physical contact. 
When it comes to weapons, the fighter is anticipated to carry a variety of advanced systems designed to enhance its stealth and long-range effectiveness. While some weapons are still under development, the aircraft will likely feature next-generation air-to-air missiles like the UK's MBDA Meteor, known for its beyond-visual-range capabilities. Additionally, it may incorporate Japan's ASM-3 anti-ship missile, although integrating such large missiles internally presents a challenge for maintaining stealth. The cockpit is designed with cutting-edge technology, featuring augmented reality systems that minimize physical controls by projecting virtual instruments onto the pilot's visor. Advanced artificial intelligence further enhances the aircraft's capabilities, learning from the pilot and enabling pilot-optional operation. This AI will manage many tasks autonomously, allowing the pilot to focus on overall mission command. Additionally, the aircraft will incorporate Leonardo's next-generation radar, which can process 10,000 times more data than current systems, greatly enhancing situational awareness and combat effectiveness. According to Leonardo, the fighter will be among the most advanced, interoperable, adaptable, and connected aircraft in service worldwide. The GCAP may eventually include loyal wingman drones, which could carry extra weapons or perform other combat tasks, making the manned aircraft more versatile. However, as of 2024, the focus is entirely on developing the sixth-generation fighter, and the partner nations have not announced any plans to expand into broader air combat systems like other programs. The future development in this area remains uncertain, and we'll have to wait and see how it evolves. Based on the latest information, the program is progressing steadily with the concept and assessment phase nearing completion. The project is moving toward the full development and design phase, scheduled to begin in 2025. The first prototype is expected to be operational by 2027, with the aircraft entering service around 2035. The budgets have not been disclosed, but estimates suggesting the GCAP could require upwards of $40 billion. By pooling their resources, the UK, Japan and Italy can share these substantial costs, reducing the financial burden on each nation. This collaboration also allows them to combine their industrial strengths, with each country contributing its expertise in different areas of the aircraft's development. Initial estimates suggest that the three countries may together purchase around 300 aircraft through the GCAP. The UK and Italy plan to replace their aging Eurofighter Typhoon fleets, while Japan aims to replace its F-2 fighters. However, the exact number of aircraft could change due to geopolitical shifts, budget limitations, and changing defense needs. Japan, with its recent increase in defense spending, might order more units, particularly to counter China's growing military presence in the region. Maintaining the ambitious timeline and budget for the jet is a major challenge. Developing a sixth-generation fighter involves highly advanced technology, which is both expensive and time-consuming to perfect. Delays in key technologies could push the project beyond its 2035 target for entering service. Budget overruns are another concern, as the large scale of the project could strain the finances of the partner nations. Successfully managing these risks will require careful coordination and collaboration among the countries involved. The strategic importance of meeting these deadlines cannot be overstated. A delay could leave the partner nations vulnerable to emerging threats, particularly from adversaries like China, which is rapidly advancing its own military capabilities. Keeping the program on schedule is essential for maintaining air superiority and staying ahead in global defense. The fighter also positions these countries as leaders in defense innovation, increasing their influence in NATO and other security alliances. By developing a shared platform, the UK, Japan, and Italy ensure interoperability between their forces, which is crucial for coordinated responses to potential threats. The GCAP fighter has the potential to become a sought-after aircraft in global defense markets, particularly among nations looking to modernize their air forces with cutting-edge technology. Countries in Europe, the Middle East and Asia, especially those concerned about regional security threats, may express strong interest. Potential buyers could include nations like Saudi Arabia, which has historically purchased British military aircraft, or Australia, seeking advanced capabilities to counterbalance regional powers like China. Japan's focus on Asia and the UK and Italy's influence in Europe and the Middle East position the jet as a global force multiplier. Sales of the fighter could shift the global military balance, strengthening alliances with purchasing nations and providing them with a technological edge. So, 
As the UK, Japan, and Italy work together to bring this sixth-generation fighter to life, they are not only advancing technological innovation, but also strengthening their strategic positions in the global defense landscape. The new aircraft stands as a testament to the future of air power and international cooperation.